but must evolve in unison. I've said many times that we ask our officers to do too much, to address social ills such as the mental health crisis, homelessness, addiction, in addition to keeping our community safe, which is a full-time job. This must change. We need to weave law enforcement and social services together to take the burden off of police officers and provide the level of support and service that our community deserves. We conducted a very thorough search for a chief which led us in this direction and we had three outstanding candidates for the chief of police. But in the final analysis, it is Mary O'Connor who stood out because she brings the best of both worlds. She brings a knowledge of the Tampa Police Department and our community, and she also brings an outside viewpoint. Mary's 22 years of impressive service with the Tampa Police Department gives her a very deep understanding of our police department and of our community. Over the past five years, Mary has broadened her experience and knowledge by helping police departments across the country improve their community relations and implement evidence-based policing as a Department of Justice special matter expert and a leading trainer with the FBI. In those roles, she served TPD's best practices while learning new ones throughout the nation. She will now bring innovative ideas to Tampa to lead our police department into the future. Her vision is what Tampa needs right now. Mary has a keen understanding of the importance of collaborating with our community and combining social services support with enforcement to reduce crime and to keep our community safe. Through Mary's experience from a beat cop rising up to the second highest position in the department, she has learned the value of an inclusive, diverse, transparent, and accountable agency which our community expects and deserves. I've always believed that safety and security is the foundation on which any successful city must be built. I want to thank Butch Delgado for the excellent job that he has done the last five months as the interim chief. He's led the Tampa Police Department through some very challenging and difficult issues during those five months. He will continue to serve as an integral part of the leadership team of the Tampa Police Department. I feel confident that Butch will make a great chief of police one day. Butch Delgado and Lee Burkall will serve as assistant chiefs completing the team that will lead the Tampa Police Department into the future. Mary O'Connor bleeds blue just like I do. She loves this department and community like her own family. And I know that with the council's confirmation, Mary is going to make an outstanding police chief. Mary? Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Mayor Castor. I am honored and humbled to stand before you as Tampa's newest police chief. I believe in this community and in this department, and together we can do great things. I spent the first 22 years of my career serving the community of Tampa. As the mayor mentioned, I spent the last five years traveling throughout the United States, working with law enforcement agencies. And I can tell you, without a doubt, TPD is the best police department in this nation. I was always filled with so much TPD pride when I would start working with other agencies. We do so many things well here in this agency, but like with anything, we always have room to grow. My first priority is connecting with the community. I believe in building a team approach to the crime fight.
The father of modern policing, Sir Robert Peel, in 1829, coined the phrase, the police are the public and the public are the police. And that sums up my philosophy. We must work together to prevent and solve crime in this city. As I stand before you today, I am committed to finding new ways of working together as a team to ensure that the community and every member of it has a voice in its police department. It's always been our mission to serve you, and now we will take that to the next level by coming together to stop violence from prevailing in our city. I'm sure you are all aware that there has been a violent crime increase around our country. Combating that trend is also one of my top priorities. I've learned from my work with the Department of Justice and FBI Lita the importance of identifying root causes of crime and then partnering with social services to address and prevent crime from taking place in the first place. As the mayor mentioned, we ask officers to do a lot, sometimes too much. Partnering with social services will take the burden off of officers and provide people with the help and assistance that they truly need. We simply can't arrest our way out of the problem. That doesn't work. But you can also be rest assured that we will be holding the most violent offenders accountable for their actions. We will use innovative technology, training, and initiatives to ensure that we are building good quality cases so that justice can effectively be served. My third top priority is officer wellness. A healthy community starts with a healthy workforce. I will analyze what programs are currently in place and enhance what's available to our officers. It's been a hard time to be a police officer in this country. We need to make sure our officers who are out there putting their lives on the line for the safety of this community feel supported because it's the right thing to do. I am committed to having robust officer safety and wellness programs to make sure we have well-adjusted, healthy police officers making good decisions both at work and living a fulfilled life at home. I would like to also focus on leadership development that will help officers rise through the ranks as I did, along with my two assistant chiefs, Butch Delgado and Lee Burkhoff. We have a very strong leadership team and I am so excited to begin working together. But first, I want to thank Butch for doing an amazing job. As the mayor mentioned, he's been working tirelessly for the last five months as the interim chief. Butch is known as a fair, honest, and strong leader. I will look to continue his guidance for his guidance as we shape the department and move forward. And I'd like to continue the positive momentum that he's gained in his time as interim chief. We will continue to live by living the mayor's golden rule, as she's always said, that we will treat everybody with dignity and respect. We will focus on connecting with our community to build a team approach to combating violent crime while making sure our officers are healthy and safe. I am so proud to again serve with the men and women of this fine department. The Tampa Police Department is the greatest police department in this country. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. And now uh, we'd like to hear a few words from Chief Delgado. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. Um, just a couple things. Um, first, to the mayor, I want to thank you for the opportunity for Give me a chance to be the interim chief uh, for the last five months, not only for the department that I have been here for 24 years, but the city that I grew up in. And it's been a rewarding, um, challenging, um, but exciting time all at the same time. So, um, you know, I, I uh, very humbling experience. Um, 
and to lead it during the process and to watch the officers respond during the process was pretty pretty amazing experience for me. Um, I've known Mary for over 20 years, um, so I welcome her back. Um, you know, I think she has the same mission as all of us do, and that's to keep this city safe. That's you know, our mission is to reduce crime and enhance a quality of life um, with our with our citizens, and that's what we intend to do together. I had a we, we were able to speak a little bit yesterday. Um, we're going to have a lot more conversations here, me, her, and Lee, in the near future on some of the things we're doing, some of the ideas she's going to bring in moving this department forward, and we're looking, for the, we're looking forward to those discussions. Uh, one thing I'll tell you this is I'm confident that the Tampa Police Department has 1,300-plus employees, both professional staff and sworn, and I can tell you that they haven't missed a beat during this process or any process of keeping this city safe keeping this city one of the safest cities in America. Um, and again, I look forward to being part of that team moving forward, and uh, I'm just ready to get to work, so, all right. Uh -huh. Thanks, Butch. All right, we'll open it up for questions. Chief O'Connor? Uh, yes. Congratulations, uh, first off. A uh, question about uh, the CBA and uh, the oversight of the city. There were nine months last year where the community was a huge divide between what they wanted and Yeah, so it's a little hard for me to hear you, just a little bit, but you're asking about the PBA and the, and the Citizen Review Board. Yeah, the PBA is a very integral part of this department, obviously. They represent the majority of the police officers and, and commanders in this agency. Um, they have a very important voice at the table, but equally as important as the voice of the community and the Citizen Review Board. As far as bridging the gap is concerned, I believe everyone has to come to the table and voice their concerns. And a lot of times I think we have to meet somewhere in the middle and come up with a fair compromise for all. Yes, sir. I am. I evaluate the totality of the circumstances. I think every case stands on its own merit. I believe in second chances wholeheartedly, as you pointed out. But I also believe that discipline needs to be um, given in a fair and impartial manner. So I think that just like the chance that was given to me 28 years ago to evaluate every aspect of my own case, I look forward to doing that with the men and women of this department as well. Well, as I said, we, we had three incredibly skilled and experienced individuals, each of which uh, would have been able to successfully lead the Tampa Police Department. But I feel what really what um, put Mary at the top was the fact that she has had 22 years of experience at the Tampa Police Department. She understands the organization. She understands the community. But then she has those five years of invaluable experience of going around outside of the department to see how other agencies are run, to learn other best practices, and to also, frankly, see the things that other agencies uh, may be doing that we don't want to, to mirror in our organization. And um, that experience, coupled with her time at the Tampa Police Department, uh, just lifted her up to the position of chief of police. I think that the immigrant community is just like any other community member, and I think that building trust with all of the community takes some time, but I need to be forward-facing. I need them to get to know me in order to build that trust. So I don't want to separate the immigrant community from any other community member in the city. I want to be inclusive of everybody.
That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as I stated in my remarks, you know, the mayor appoints the chief of police, but that confirmation, uh, we get confirmation from council, which we don't expect any issues there. And uh, Mary could start as quickly as next week. Self-reflection. I had the opportunity to professionally and personally grow by broadening my horizons. And it really made me, as a person, reflect on all of the community connections that I've made over the years and all of the personal connections that I've made and realizing that personal connections are so important to make myself a better person and bring it back to the community that I love. Yes, sir. Very important. I, first of all, I think Chief Delgado did a fantastic job of revamping the crime-free housing program, um, not taking it away, but maybe making it a little bit more inclusive of the community that, that the crime-free program is in. Um, you know, Biking While Black, like any other police initiative, it takes time to implement. It's going to um, require a lot of communication about any initiatives that we're doing. And then, like with anything, we have to measure success. Um, you know, unfortunately, not every single initiative is successful, you know, but we have to be innovative and implement different initiatives with the community's uh, voice and then, you know, again, measure to make sure that they're successful. The media is a member of this community, and, and, and going back to my message of inclusiveness, I think that we need to make sure that they have a voice at the table as well. And inclusiveness of the media and, and every community member is going to be my top priority. Yeah, it's difficult for me to try to um, re recreate what happened here in Tampa in 2020 because I wasn't on the ground with Chief Dugan or any of the officers. Um, the protests, you know, they have the right to peacefully express their opinions, and I am committed to those peaceful expressions. Um, moving forward, I mean, we're just going to have to take each incident at a time and just, you know, make sure that the safety and the and the the priority of the community is is first thank you everybody thank you